Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I am filming a book review. I am reviewing The Girl the Sea I Gave Back by Adriana Young. This one is a sequel slash companion novel to Sky in the Deep which came out last year I believe. Now I recently read Sky in the Deep to get the full story for The Girl the Sea I Gave Back and as I read The Girl This Year Get Back, I realized that it is set 10 years later after Sky the Deep and it has a lot of the characters from Sky the Deep but I do not think you have to read Sky the Deep to read The Girl This Year Get Back. This one is being released on the 3rd of September and I got my art review copy from Nat Galley. So this one follows Tuva, which is a girl who, when she was young, uh, believes that she was sacrificed for her people. Her whole body is covered in these marks that is really known for where her people live. They are called Kyr. She now lives with another tribe which is called Svals and uh, they sort of hate her and are scared of her but they need her because she can predict the future when she casts runes and she's able to read them. We also follow Halvard which is part of another tribe of people. He is a chieftain in training and he's going to be the new chief of his people and I don't want to talk too much about his people because it's kind of a bit spoilerish for Sky and Deep but again if you read the girl this year get back only it does sort of spoil the end of Sky and Deep but like if you're only interested in that then you're fine and the thing is that the people that Tova lives with the swells wants war or like some people in her tribe wants war and they go against orders and start attacking this village which is part of Halvard's people and a war is about to break out and where is Tova's role in this and is Halvar ready to be the new chieftain and ready to lead his people. So as you can tell maybe the, all the names are very Scandinavian that is because it is supposedly like a viking retelling inspired by viking things and I found it very funny because as you might not know or you already know, I am Norwegian. So all the names I read as a Norwegian would read them. Really because, you know, Vikings are from Norden, Scandinavia. So yeah. And what I found really funny, at least in the first book as well, in Sky the Deep, in the audiobook, there is this character named Fisk. And they read Fisk, but his name is written Fiske. And if you're gonna pronounce it as you would pronounce it in no way, you would say Fiske. So for me it was very strange that he was named Fisk in the audiobook. But that was just, that's nothing to do with this one. Even though he does appear in The Girl This Year Gave Back. It's hard to put my thoughts on this because I was kind of very underwhelmed by Sky in the Deep and I sort of feel the same of this one. There are fighting scenes that feel so like very average and not really interesting at all. And the characters just feel, I don't know really bland and boring. It's not like nothing really surprised me. I kind of predicted the whole of Sky and Deep as well and all the big events there felt really underwhelming and like the execution was just not there. If you're unaware Sky and Deep follows this girl named Elin and she sees her brother left believing that he has been dead for years and she later gets captured by his brother and is brought to his new family and then realizes that his family are like Oh my god, people! And this development happened so quickly that you never actually like got it that well. And I feel like the same happens here. Like it is a short book, only 300 pages or so. And while like I see the story that wanted to be told, I just don't see like it being this magnificent story. I don't, I don't know. Like it's not bad. It's just totally average. It's okay. The writing is fine and all as well. As we follow Tova and she like questions how she got where she is and why her people for example didn't want her. You're just like you sort of already know because of the first chapter so it's not like a big reveal when she finds out what really happened because they hinted on it so well. So I don't know if the foreshadowing here is just too good I guess. While like I do enjoy the characters like mildly, the whole like Viking thing also doesn't interest me that much. So like it's overall just a, like a very average story for me. Even if like I loved Vikings and reading my Vikings, which I generally like, I'm not that interested in them. It's just not that appealing because like 
it doesn't feel like this great awesome fantasy adventure it just feel like oh these guys they're fighting each other and like why should you care because it doesn't give you a really good reason to I never feel like I care the end though was like sort of left a bit open and I wanted to know exactly what happened there like of course I'm not gonna spoil it so I am just like what exactly happened there maybe the author is planning another spin-off book of this spin-off book who knows but generally I'm just like I'm totally like average it's okay so I gave this book three out of five stars I also gave Sky the Deep three out of five stars and nothing spectacular but it's like it's not horrible and I hated it or anything like that but I know a lot of people has enjoyed Skyny Deep so if you like Skyny Deep I think you will like The Girl Is Here Get Back a lot as well because they are quite similar to one another but a new different story still. If it sounds interesting to you I think you can enjoy it a lot. For me it's just okay. And I think that's all I wanted to say because it's not really that much to cover. Not that much to talk about. It's a fine. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and you will see me soon in a new one. Bye!